Hi guys, welcome to the real deal. Real people, real issues, real talk. I'm Penny, a medicine woman and vitalist herbalist, specializing in ancient remedies for modern illness. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always here to help. And today we will be talking homesteading and self-sustainability with Chuck and Jen Green of Goat Shit Farms, an adult petting zoo. They also have a Costa Rican CBD company, PathwayCR.com. That's PathwayCR.com. And let me see, while I'm trying to get them on, let me connect here on my computer. So homesteading is definitely something that I, um, is near and dear to me as well. I grew up in the city. Let me see guys while I'm, hold on, I gotta turn this down. Oops. Hold on. Yeah, so I grew up in the city and um, let me see who's on here. Hi, Debbie. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. I grew up in the city and about 13 years ago, I moved up north myself to Homestead and um, boy, what a journey it's been since then. Um, but if I can do it, anybody can do it. And um, even though technology is nice and all, we all really need to get back to basics and learn to live a little simpler life, less dependent on the system. And, um, you know, life is good. Homesteading is hard work, but um, you're constantly active and one with the earth and learning and um, I mean, that's really how we're meant to live. We, you know, we used to grow up in villages and um, everybody kind of pitched in and did their things and they all had their special gifts that they brought to the table and, um, you know, everybody made their own food, their own medicines and took care of everybody. There wasn't um, nine to five jobs and health insurance and that kind of stuff back then. Um, you know, and, and that's the problem we've gotten so out of hand with, um, technology and agriculture, you know, big agriculture is really where it started. Um, you know, we, we've just become a con consumerism, consumerism society, and we really need to be working, you know, back and forth with the earth that way. We don't just exhaust all the resources as we've been doing for so long. Um, and homesteading is a good way to start. I mean, when I went up north, I simply, you know, the first thing to get you going is um, look at your debt. Look at what you're spending your money on. Um, you know, try to get out of as much debt as possible. We're, you know, we've grown up wanting things instantly, like instant gratification. And, um... Nothing's more gratifying than actually working hard and, and watching something grow and come to fruition. So um, it's very gratifying and empowering to homestead and um, to see the fruits of your labor. Honestly, it's more gratifying than, you know, these instant, instant um, pleasures that we we seem to be drawn to more than anything nowadays but um that's actually how I started getting into foraging back then because I've always done like natural remedies and stuff but one of my first bonfires I had um when I first moved up north I um I had thrown some wood that I had um gathered up in the forest and all of a sudden one of these mushrooms came to life on the wood and I started researching and um, it just, it made me notice, you know, and I mean, I, I think we just don't sit or we just don't pay attention enough and notice things that are right in hindsight. Um, and, and.
and that just brought me into the world of um, fungi and mosses and lichen and grasses and mushrooms and there's so much to learn guys um you know we we our ancestors lived with the earth we're, hor we're foragers and we're hunters um so you know like we didn't have there was no gyms back then the gym was you actually worked hard outside for a living let's see i'm trying to see i don't see you guys on here let me see i know they're having a little problem with one of their goats today so i did talk to them they should be hopping on um but if you're interested in homesteading it's just baby steps you know like even if you're in the city right now um get some pots and some seeds some good organic non-gmo seeds and start yourself a garden you know just start small start with what you like to eat if you if you like tomatoes grow a tomato plant. If you like peppers, grow one of those and, you know, start small so you don't get overwhelmed. And, um, you know, every year you, I know you'll catch the bug because it, it, it's very addicting when you start to, um, grow things and, and then you start to eat the own food that you're, that you're growing. And then, you know, you can even get into home, you know, like they're doing with livestock. And then, you know, the meat that you're eating, you know what it's eating and you're feeding it and what, you know, what kind of um, medications it's getting. Like, you know, a lot of the factory farms um, are giving things, hormones and vaccines and, you know, just the living conditions that they live in aren't ideal. Like, um, you know, most of the meat that we're eating nowadays is angry meat and, um, that's not good for us. I don't know if you've seen any any of the documentaries, but Google it. There's so much information out there. I don't think that it's that we were not meant to eat meat, but we are definitely meant to respect anything that we are um, taking from the earth, whether it's a plant or an animal. Um, you know, we're not supposed to be eating meat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's it's something that's special and sacred and and when you do eat, you should be grateful for what you have and, and you should put in the work to get it. It shouldn't just um, be grown in a factory farm. That's not the way it works. Um, but it's what we've become. And honestly, hopefully it, go, it reverts back because this agricultural era that we've created um, has done nothing but do damage to the earth and to... Um, the animal kingdom we've lost just in the last hundred years thousands of species i mean the damage from losing thousands of species um they all bring something to the ecosystem everything has a purpose and you know we're pretty we're pretty destructive force if we can cause so much damage in a hundred years in the scope of you know how many years the earth has been around and how many years it's going to continue to be. So like, even if we keep damaging it, um, it's going to take itself back. And, um, you know, humans might not be here, but, um, the earth, it'll keep on going because it is nothing but time. Um, let's see guys. I don't see them popping on yet, but, um, I don't really have nothing prepared to talk about, but homesteading wise, I did move up north after being in the city and, um, you know, it is kind of tough to get started when you're used to everything being um, available and at reach, but you start looking at things as far as repurposing them, um, you know, you look at different items in different ways and, um, you know, you get to know your neighbors and you get to know the land around you. and you start to learn all of the plant life and, and then you'll realize that, that there's medicine in those plants and, you know, it just goes on from there. The learning is never ending. Um, and I, um, where I was up north that time, I was in Manistee and I realized that um, it was really cold and really hard to homestead up there. So 
I was there for about five years and then I went south to Virginia and I kind of did the same thing there. And, um, you know, it's very empowering to be able to watch things grow and um, watch people get better and be able to eat with the things that you actually grow and provide. Um, instead of just going to the store and it's a it is a simpler cheaper way of living Let's see guys if they are Hold on. So anyways, let's see I see you Debbie on there do you um, have any questions about homesteading? Are you interested in homesteading at all? Um, you know, it doesn't take a it, it doesn't take a lot to get away from the system a little bit at a time. And you know, gardening is actually a really good starting point. And I hope that I've inspired a lot of people to garden through the years, um, because it's really the food that we actually have available to us, even if you do buy organic, um, it's, it just doesn't have the nutrients that we need anymore. So um, as you start learning a lot of the things in the wild, um, you'll find that a lot of the different things as they come into season, it's kind of how we were meant to eat as far as foraging goes. Um, the other day I, I mentioned like, you know, in springtime the lilacs come out and, you know, that's kind of a time to do like a parasite cleanse. And after that, um, you know, like grape leaves. Hi, Jen, how you doing? Low data signal, trying to keep up. Good. You got to just stick, you got to just stick one hand up in the air, you know, and get some tinfoil like we used to do back in the day. <laughs> I know that river probably is awesome right about now. I don't know, you know, I know that um, I did talk to Chuck right before I popped on, but I know they're having a problem with one of their goats right now. So I'm hoping that um, they are able to pop on. Hold on, I think they are right here. Let me see. Nope, that's Jen. See, I'm gonna add you on here, Jen, if you want to, just because they're not popping on yet. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, check, check out the river until we get them on here. See if you want to come on. See what they're saying. Okay, you probably ain't trying that right. Come on, not there. That's okay. I figured I'd try since you're on here. But I don't know. If I don't get them on, I don't know how long I'm going to sit on here and jabber. Um, we are starting next week. I definitely will get them back on if they aren't able to connect during Costa Rica. So I don't know if we're having like a connection issue or something. Um, but I. I Definitely we'll get them back on. Homesteading is something I do want to talk about, you know, and get into a little more. I just really wasn't um, prepared to talk about it much today. Um, let me see. Yeah, signal's too slow. Okay. If that's why you don't want to come on, that's cool. I was hoping we could see the river. But, um, you know, next week, uh, this is, the, you know, we're just doing two shows for the week this week. Next week, we're going down to Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so thanks for bearing with all these growing pains, guys. I'm actually going to try to get something for streaming other than Facebook because obviously we're having a problem and um, it's annoying on my end, too. So sorry and I appreciate you dealing with it um, but join us here live um, next Tuesday at 7 p.m and enjoy your week everyone Mwah.